Hi everyone, this is Robin Armbrecht with Really Robin Stamps. Thank you for joining me today. We are going to create another entry in our art journal. And I have a tutorial on how to make an art journal just with the stamping supplies that you have at home. So I'll link that video down below. But we're going to create another layout um, in our art journal today. And I call this technique, which isn't just for art journaling, it's for you know making cards as well. Um, I call it simple soothing stamping. So here's the supplies that you need. Choose any stamp set from your stash that has some nature elements. And um, from that stash, or from that stamp set, you can pick the items just for there from any of your stamp sets that you have. Um, and pick an image that's like larger, medium, smaller. Okay, so I picked these three images. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at your ink colors and you're gonna pick a green, a red, and a blue. Okay, instead of red, you could choose like a pink or an orange, okay? But if you'll find this really fun to do, um, to look at your ink pads and it kind of gets your juices flowing. Just pick out any green, any red, any blue, and you'll find that you can come up with some really great color combinations. So if you're finding yourself needing a little inspiration, um, go with that color combination and see what you can do. And then you're gonna need a sponge to go with each one of those colors. And then you're gonna need a scrap piece of paper in those same colors. It doesn't have to be any bigger than a quarter sheet. And an aqua painter. All right, so the colors I picked today were Old Olive, Real Red, and Balmy Blue. All right, so. The reason I created an art journal is because I just wanted to um, have a space where I used my um, stamping supplies, but kind of in a different way from card making. Like I'm always making cards and I'm always um, doing scrapbooking and making um, home decor items. I'm doing that all the time, but sometimes I forget to play with the other things that I have. So this was a way that I just wanted to kind of be able to sit down and work with um, things that maybe I didn't pull out and play with for a while, okay? So today's technique is great because it's something you can do anywhere. You can do it on a card, you can just do it to play with, you can watch TV and do this technique, but it just kind of gives you a moment to, you know, kind of stop thinking, okay? So I'm gonna take one of my layouts, I'm gonna take the three ink colors, and I'm gonna start with the lightest color, which in my case is blue, but depending on what the colors you choose, it might not be blue for you, okay? So just start with your lightest color, and then you're gonna just burnish it into the cardstock in a bunch of different places, okay? So I'm gonna start with the blue, and I like to kind of tap my color and then kind of rub it in after I've tapped it, and I feel like I get a really like a smoother finish on it when I do it that way. So I'm gonna just create these little spots that are blue, kind of randomly around the paper. Now when you do this at home, take your time. You don't have to do it as fast as I'm doing it. I'm just doing it quickly so that this video isn't super long but take your time with it, listen to music, choose to think or not to think, and just enjoy the color, all right? This beautiful whisper white cardstock that we made this journal with and ink, it's like they were meant to be together, it's beautiful. So just take your time with it. All right, so I'm gonna stop with that color and I'm gonna go to the next color and I'm gonna pick green, but you could go either way, green or red, depending on your colors and you're just gonna burnish some more color. And you'll see kind of the different 
texture you get, whether you tap or swirl with the sponge. These don't even have to be circles. You could do lines. All right, so you can see I'm just kind of going in between where I put the blue and I'm adding the green like that. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the red. In my case, the red is definitely the darker color, so I'm gonna use that maybe just a little bit more sparingly. Okay, I like how that's looking. All right, so now I think I want the blue to be just a little bit darker, so I'm gonna go back now that I've got the other colors on there. I can go back and I can be just a little bit more heavy handed with it and give it a little bit more pressure as I'm swirling it and you see how the colors just get darker and more beautiful. Like that and we'll add just a little bit more green. So basically, this I'm calling this art therapy, essentially, okay? You just keep burnishing this color into your paper until you are happy <laughs> or you, you just feel better. I'm telling you, this is a great technique. All right, I'm gonna smooth out the red just a little bit. All right, I'm gonna stop here, but again, you can keep going. So I just have this beautiful background that just creates a, a layer for whatever you wanna do, okay? So now we're gonna take the stamps. And again, these pieces are from um, Positive Thoughts because I thought that was completely appropriate um, given the time we're here in the middle of the pandemic. So again, you need any, um, nature element images that you have in any stamp set and just pick three that are different sizes. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the green leaf in my green and you're gonna stamp this one twice, but I'm gonna stamp it twice without re-inking it like that just to kind of give it a little bit more depth. And then we'll put this one down here, okay? So I'm gonna do that one twice, then I'm gonna take the medium image and I'm gonna stamp that three times. And you just wanna kinda of create like a visual, you know, triangle, all right? So if you've got that, then this one has to go like here, okay? And then with your smallest image that you pick, you're just gonna stamp that once. So I want them right there. Now, again, you can stamp this however many times you want. You can fill it up and collage, that'd be beautiful. I'm just giving you kind of a general like layout that you can, um, you know, create some balance with. Okay, so then you're gonna take your card stocks in those colors, and you're just going to do some more thera <laughs> therapy work is what I call it. And you're gonna just tear some kind of shapes out of those colors, okay? Now, if you hate to tear, that's fine. Don't tear. This is therapy, all right? So if, if this bothers you, then you just go ahead and use some of your dies or your punches, and you punch out some pretty shapes. But I kind of am looking for something that's very like tactile to do, because um, that, to me, is very soothing. And that's why I call this the simple soothing technique. All right, so. I created them in three different sizes, all right, because I kind of just want to create a little bit of a, you know, just kind of a little layout like that. All right, so we're going to crumple these two, but before we crumple them, um, I want you to just 
pick one of your colors that you made maybe the biggest and think of a word. Um, again, this is an art journal that I'm doing this on. Okay, I maybe wouldn't necessarily do this on a card, but since this is an art journal um, and we're talking about doing something that's uh, soothing, something that is meant to bring peace, um, we might as well kind of create a moment by doing this art and think of a word that you'd like to focus on, something that is meaningful to you. And you can stamp it if you've got an alphabet stamp set or you can write it. And I'm just gonna take my basic black marker and I'm gonna choose the word hope. like that. All right, so there's my word hope. And before I attach these to my page, I'm going to just crumple them because again, I love the texture. I love <laughs> I love playing with paper. How about you? All right, so I'm going to crumple these up. All right, I hope this one's dry. We'll crumple this guy too. You could also spritz, spritz the paper a little bit, not this one with your marker, unless you use a permanent marker, but you could spritz it and it'll crumple really nicely as well. All right, so now I'm gonna just adhere these onto my page. And I think I want it to look something like like that. Awesome. All right, so the last thing that you're gonna do is use a paintbrush or your aqua painter and pick one of the colors of your ink and I'm gonna pick the blue. So I'm gonna squeeze the lid here so I can get a little bit of that color onto the lid and I'm gonna use it like a watercolor. So I'm gonna put some of the water from my aqua paint brush in there and then I'm just gonna like Tap it on the page and a few of the little spots. And you'll see when it dries, it kind of lifts up some of the color and then just leaves these little water droplets, which is very pretty. Okay, so we're done with that. All right, so to finish this page, you're going to just maybe um, Google your word, whatever you picked, and try to find a verse or a quote um, that you like that kind of goes along with that. And so I found, I found one that I'm going to write on this side here. So I found one um, from Desmond Tutu. Hope is being able to see that there's light despite all of the darkness. And then what I would do on this side is I would maybe just write a little bit about um, anything, anything that I was feeling, or you could find more quotes 
Um, you could put a picture here, something that, you know, kind of goes along with your word. Um, anything like that. So the last thing you're going to do, since this is kind of a, a journal, is you're going to definitely put your date down that you did it. And there you've got your page. So I can show you, I did this one on another page here. And so here's where I wrote and there was my quote. And there you go, simple soothing stamping. So let me just show you another color combination just so you can see. So this one I created with Rose Rococo, Granny Apple Green, and Pool Party. Same exact layout, just use different colors. And I think it's beautiful as well. And so I decided that um, I would create a card then, all right? Because, you know, we're all about cards and that's the majority of what um, I create. So you can do the same layout as what you would do, um, create just like I did in the art journal, but you could do it in a smaller miniature version of your card. So I've got my Whisper White cardstock. I did the sponging. I stamped the leaf twice, the flower three times, the butterfly once. I um, used all the colors of the cardstock the same way. The only thing I added was a one inch strip. It's one by four of cardstock so that I could put a greeting on there and of course an embellishment to um, make it pretty. So you could add some ribbon or something like that. So those are the same colors that I did in the journal. I just did it as a card. Here's another color combination. This is Lovely Lipstick, Pear Pizzazz, and Coastal Cabana. And I love that one just as well. So I think you'll, you'll enjoy um, just playing with this idea of finding a red, you know, red, green, blue kind of idea. I also needed to create a sympathy card, unfortunately. So then I was like, okay, so let's pick the serious colors, right? So I picked um, Night of Navy and Cherry Cobbler and Mossy Meadow. Did the exact same layout, but it just gives it a whole different tone, doesn't it? So I hope that this gives you some ideas for um, your card making, but also if you wanna join me in creating um, this art journal. Again, look at the video that I've linked down below. And um, I hope that you will try some simple soothing stamping. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.